sternal notch. This is the right side of the patient. Okay, so uh, rib margins here. I go up about a centimeter. The further down you are, the more you're going to get into the rectus muscle. So I like to stay up high. Some I used to actually try to get right up under the breast and work down. That's a, sometimes I do have a patient's really concerned about that incision. So we'll go ahead and uh, get started. Fifteen. Ten. All right, do a couple rakes and you come around it. Yeah, um, Is there problem? Okay, over here. And I go up and out a little. All right. I know some people try to make this a really, really small incision, but it's tough to do, and you do need to be able to see in there. Doing my best. Here's my whole incision. Okay, take this. Put that right in a little further. Put a little light in right there. Further. Let's see if we can do it a little bit. Okay. okay. Back, go over there. Okay, Del, can you, uh, the moment I'm going to turn that light on for you. Okay. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this is one of the, this is probably maybe eight here, um, but we like to do, go as far as lateral as we can. We're down to the rib, make a little cut, vertical cut and periosteum, carry it medially all the way as far as we can. Another little vertical cut so that we have a little H configuration. And then what we try to do is just dissect this off, uh, off the rib and get around it, leave the periosteum down with the patient, you find it's a little bit better for discomfort. So we're going to continue this, uh, this section. Right back this. So we're just taking this, stripping this periosteum. I'll try not to end, injure any of the underlying rib because for obvious reasons, I'm harvesting it so we don't want to cut into it at all. This just takes a little bit of time, but not really. Before we started doing this, I found the patients were a little more uncomfortable. It also gives you one more layer between uh, you and the uh, floor as you're doing your dissection. So we're getting over the top end of it now. Taking it now laterally. So what <clears throat> what we've got here, take this rib out, is you can actually see the periosteum. Uh, that little H, we make a vertical cut here, a vertical cut laterally, and then we elevate this with a freer and just work our way underneath to get this out. Once we get the um, periosteal elevator all the way under it laterally to the other side then we make our cut through. We cut down on the on the blade and then we just slowly keep working our way working our way medially and do the same thing and 
after it gets retrieved, just retract it immediately and I was able to cut across it and then take it out. And again, when uh, we close here, first thing we do is we put, have some saline and Scott, would you give some positive pressure? Yeah. So here's the periosteum right here. Um, and so by leaving periosteum, not only is it more comfortable for the patient, we've got a positive pressure here. Um, we're not blowing bubbles, so we know we're not in the, uh, through the, uh, through the pleural cavity or through the fur. Uh, but uh, we'll also close this layer here, then close, here's rectus, and then uh, eliminate the dead space and then close the skin. Um, so we've got our, our rib out. There's another little floating rib down, right down here. If you need another a little piece, you could always come after this one as well.